We're now ready for the real merge sort. We have to use recursion and we need to add a base case. So I've already pasted in merge sort and I'm spacing out everything here. So we can start typing in some code. All right, so if the deck has zero or one cards, we're gonna return it. So how do we do that? So we need an if statement. And what we're gonna do now, the deck, this is gonna be similar thought process to the almost merge sort, because again, both of these are not static, which means there's no word static here, which means that the deck is cards or this dot cards. So remember we have that handy length method if the deck has zero or one. So what does that mean? Uh, we can either do less than two or less than equal to one. All right, and what are we gonna return? Return the deck. Uh, now you might think, oh yeah, that's this dot cards. However, think about what we're returning. What is cards itself? Let's scroll up. Cards is an array of cards this method merge sort doesn't return an array of cards, it returns a deck. So you're actually just gonna return this, which is the deck itself, this current deck object. All right, so if this happens, meaning it's zero or one, the return statement means nothing below is gonna be executed. All right, now it does say return result and we need to return a deck or else it's gonna be an error if that bothers you. For now, you can return null, at least it gets rid of the error. We're obviously not gonna return null for real. Uh, so we need to divide the deck into two subjects. Good news, we did that already, right here. So let's just take this, I'm gonna duplicate it, Control Shift Up, Alt Shift Up moves this right there. All right, sort the subdecks using merge sort. We'll do that in a second. Let's finish the merge the decks, the subdecks. We actually have that code right here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Duplicate, control shift up and then alt shift up to move. So we merge the decks and then return, not null anymore, return result. Okay, so, oh, and of course what's half? Good news is we can do the same that. All right, now where to put it? I can put half anywhere I want. The reason I'm not going to leave it here is because if the length is small, I don't need to compute. I don't need to waste time computing half. I only need to compute half when I'm actually going to break the deck into two subdecks. So I'm going to compute half right before I actually need it. All right, now the difference. Sort the subdecks using merge sort. So, how do we do this before we did d0 and d1 selection sort? Let's look at selection sort because it's acting a little different. Selection sort returned nothing, but it's still sorted. Now, how did it sort? It did make some changes, and the way it made changes, it actually modified cards right here. It did not create a new deck and return that one. Our merge sort is not a void. So let's go back and look at our, uh, our almost merge sort, use selection sort. This is a bit tricky here. In our merge sort, sort the stub decks using merge sort. So I could go d0 dot merge sort. All right, but notice merge sort doesn't actually modify this. We created two subdecks based on this deck, and then we created a new result that was the merging of these two, and then we returned that new deck, but we never actually modified this dot cards anywhere in here. We read the values out of it when we made subdecks, 
but we never actually modified cards. What that means is when we do d0.merge sort, it doesn't actually modify d0, it returns a new deck. And one way to deal with this is you could do d0 equals d0.merge sort. So what I've highlighted creates a new deck that is sorted, and then it'll overwrite the d0 data with the sorted version of the deck. And that's definitely tricky to understand. I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, now I do have a problem overall with the way this is written because merge sort is acting differently than selection sort. Uh, so I don't, to me that's not good. Uh, we'll fix this later, but for now I'm just going to go along with what the book has. So now we've merged sorted each of these and if you look we already have code to merge and we've already tested basically everything except this uh, particular merge sort but again the only difference is how we did the sort on each of these all right so why is this a base case because the length is small we do nothing and that's the base case now Let's label that. Deck is small. And here's our recursive case. And we're going to sort one half at a time. At a time. OK put them together return okay so does this work well let's find out I cleaned up I did not like the way I left the public static void main so I redid all the merge testing and then commented it this is all the testing we did last video I'm going to duplicate it and then comment it out and again I've broken this into different sections so we could uncomment different sections and then retest anything we needed to so a new deck, we now have merge sort. And I think this should be the only changes merge sorted. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a run. Okay, so it worked on the zero, worked on the one, the two is already in order, the four, there's a lot of extra new lines in here. So three, four, ten, queen, I feel good about that. Here's a seven, all right, the ace, two, eight, the queens are in order and the kings are in order. All right, looks good on seven. 10, man, I don't like this new line happening here. All right, so we got still 10 items. Ace, three, five, five, eight, eight, 10, 10, jack, queen. Okay, looks good. Where in the world are these extra print? Is there? I don't know why there's all this extra new line happening here. Oh, well. Maybe it's in merge sort. Yeah, not sure what's going on. Oh well, it does pass the testing, so that is good. All right, let's go ahead. I'm worried this is going to produce crazy amounts of new lines. Maybe printing extra spaces. Okay. So the seven looks good. Here's the 10, which we already saw work. See the ace at the front, three, four, four, eight, eight. There's the 15, two aces. Yup, all right, two twos and a three, okay. Here's the 51 we'll look at. Got all the aces in the right order, twos in the right order, threes 
etc. All right, everything does look good. I'll fix the new line in the print later. All right, so if you survived that, congratulations. Merge sort is definitely tricky.